So I have the following matrix A, so 1, 1, 1, 2. And I want to do a QR decomposition of it using uh, the Gibbons rotation, okay? So I only want to eliminate this element here, okay? So this one. So I will find my cosine and my sine. So my cosine will be given by the top element of this vector, so 1 over the square root of this uh, element squared plus the element wants to eliminate squared, okay? So it will be 1 over the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, okay? So it will be 1 over the square root of 2, okay? And uh, our sign will be given by the element we want to eliminate, so 1 over the square root of this element squared plus the top element of this vector squared, okay? So 1 over the square root of 2, okay? And so now we can build our first and unique given rotation. So uh, remember that the cosine, the first cosine is in the place i i, okay, where i is the row of the element you want to eliminate, okay, so here i equals 2 because the element is in the second row. So uh, our c will be in the place uh, 2 2, so it will be here. Our second c our second cosine will be in the place j, j. Um, so j is the, um, the column of the uh, element we want to eliminate. So here j equals um, 1. Okay. So uh, our second cosine is in the place 1, 1. Okay, so here. Our negative sign is in the place of the element we want to eliminate or in the place uh, I, J, okay, so in the place 2, 1, okay, so here. And uh, our uh, positive sign is in the place J, I, so in the place 1, 2, so here, okay, so first row, second column. So now we are played 2A and uh, we get the following result. So as expected, we get the 0 here, okay, uh, and here we get square root of 2. 3 over square root of 2 and 1 over square root of 2. So this is now our upper triangle matrix R. And to find Q, remember that A is equal to QR and Q transpose A is equal to R. And so Q transpose will be equal to uh, uh, K1, okay? Because uh, K1A, yeah, I forgot how to pronounce this letter in English, sorry. Uh, K1A is equal to R and given that Q transpose A is also equal to R uh, obviously Q transpose is equal to K1 and uh, so Q is equal to K1 transpose, okay? Uh, and yeah, and uh, we already found our R before. And uh, remember the geometric meaning of what we said, of what we made basically is that we had here we are in two dimensions, so we are in the x y plane. Uh, we have our vector here, okay, so it would be 1 1 in this case. And uh, we rotated it in such a way that it now entirely lies on the x axis, okay. So we eliminated the y component by doing so. So now our new vector lies on the x-axis and uh, it has a value, the x-value is square root of 2, okay, and the y-value is 0, okay, so yeah, so y equals 0. Uh, yeah, so basically that's the geometric meaning, we just rotate it uh, in such a way that we eliminate one of the component uh, and we, if we have more than two dimensions we do it several times, each time eliminating a component of the vector, okay? So we rotate and we rotate until we are only left with one non-zero element, which should, which will be the, the norm of the, uh, the old vector, okay? Yes, so uh, what you have to remember is the formula for cosine and sine, okay? So cosine is given by the top element of the vector uh, a top element of the vector in which there is the element we want to eliminate. So 1 here in this case over the square root of this element squared plus the element we want to eliminate squared and sine is given by the element we want to eliminate 
over the square root of this element squared and the top element of the vector in which there is this um, this element you want to eliminate. Okay. Uh, and here you have your four formulas to put everything inside your given matrix. So uh, C I I C J J uh, yeah minus S I J uh, positive sign J I okay uh, yes and you can remember that the negative sign is always in the place of the element you want to eliminate okay. As a shortcut, okay, and i is the the row of the element who wants to eliminate, and uh, j is uh, the um, the column, okay. Uh, yes, and then you put everything to your matrix, and you apply it to a, and you get your upper triangle matrix, okay. Yes, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Yes, and I really need to improve my pronunciation.